God, you got to get to one in person one day. So here we go. We're recording. I've got both hands on the camera. There's the rocket blessing. Seven, six. There's an ignition. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at. <laughs> All I can see is the flames on the bottom there. That's 27 Merlin engines firing at the same time. That's Falcon Heavy right there. And look at it doing the roll. We're going to start getting the rumble since I'm six miles away. We're actually going to hear the rumble a little bit later uh, after the rocket launch happens. Oh, wow. There you go. Look at the light on the back of the fairing. <laughs> so the, the engines on the back of the rocket are called Merlin engines, and instead of one big engine, they actually put 27 of the engines on the back of it. There's three sets of nine. But look at that. Wow. Can you, are you getting footage of the launch there? <laughs> I mean, look at the, uh, look at the heat. Do you see the heat? I'll zoom out a little bit for you there, and you can see the heat coming off the back of the rocket. That is insane. God, also, I'm, I'm so ex... Isn't that crazy? I'm so excited to keep, like, jumping, too. So let's get zoomed back in a little bit there. And you can see the... Uh, oh, my gosh, it's just blowing out the camera. It's so bright. I tell you, like, whenever these launches happen, it almost looks like human beings have put a, a star, like an artificial star here in the night. So, God, look at it going down range. Yeah, it really is. Let's see here. Look at this. It's almost going straight away from us. Almost all we get is the, uh, the exhaust plume. And check this out. This is one of my favorite parts of the launch. Do you see how it's not like just a pencil of flame behind it? The flame is really sort of spreading out. Uh, it spreads out because of the atmospheric density. So the higher up you get, like you climb a mountain, right? And it's hard to breathe because there's less atmosphere, there's less oxygen for you to breathe. Um, the same thing happens up there. There's not enough atmosphere to actually keep that exhaust in a little pencil thin trail. So it starts to spread out like crazy like that. And it's really obvious. You see how spread out that is? Uh, no, this is the third Falcon Heavy. And look at that! Oh, you gotta check this out. So that is boost back. The two side boosters have separated and you can actually see them flipping around. Watch, they're gonna relight their engines. They're gonna fly back home. This is the craziest thing. Oh! You see that in the middle? The exhausts are actually fighting each other, dude. Look at that. The exhaust from the two engines are fighting each other. You can see the boundary where the exhaust meets. Now the center core keeps on going. The payload is on the center core and it's gonna keep on going down range. But uh, those two boosters are coming back. They're gonna land about four miles away from me, man. That's uh, honestly, we love seeing Falcon Heavy fly, but we really love seeing the two boosters come back and land. So we're gonna stick with these right now. And I'm trying my darndest to keep them in the middle of the screen there for you. Uh, but they are going to complete their boost back burn. And when they start, when they shut down their uh, boost back, they're going to start coming back this way, coasting. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. So uh, this is a Nikon P1000 and it has 3000 millimeters equivalents. So it's, it's a three meter lens. All right. Do you see how they disappeared? So they've shut down their engines and we won't be able to see them anymore unless we had like an IR camera, right? So I'm going to see if I can't reacquire. Nope. <laughs> God. Nice. <laughs> so, hey. 
In, hey, if you see some things in the chat river that you want to pass my way, let me know because I'd, I'd be happy to answer some questions. Uh, we have about seven minutes, for, so seven minutes from the time we launch that we're going to get these boosters coming back and uh, they're going to do what's called an entry burn. So up above us, they're going to fire their engines again and slow down enough to uh, to safely re-enter the atmosphere. It's cool because they actually use their engines as a part of heat shield. They turn their engines on and the, the exhaust coming out the back sort of helps them. Yeah, there's the moon, by the way. Uh, the exhaust coming back sort of helps them avoid the heating of tearing through the atmosphere. And uh, after they do that, they're going to coast a little bit more, right? And they're going to do a landing burn four miles away from me here. You got to listen for the sonic booms, though. The sonic booms are nuts. So they come back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, look, we can zoom in more if you'd like. That's the, uh, that's the moon right there. Uh, the booms from here are going to happen a little bit later. And I'm, I know I'm not keeping this exactly aligned, but uh, our job now is to sort of keep our eyes to the sky because we want to catch those boosters whenever they uh, relight their engines. So, God. Uh, after. If it's the sort of thing, it's like one thing to watch a YouTube video or, or like watch something online and it's, oh, I watched this launch, it's cool. If you can ever make it to a launch, you have, you have to come see a launch. It's something you feel, it's something you experience, right? You feel like when the sound hits you. <laughs> see, we're up to like 30 or 40, man. <laughs> yeah, this is my job to come out, these, out here and share it with other people. So, yeah, I get... I get people a lot of times that sort of tell me like, oh, that's so terrible. You never get to see the launch with your own eyes because you're always staring at the camera. 30 seconds to reignition. 30 seconds to reignition. Uh, in miles per hour, it depends on which piece you're talking about. To get up into orbit, you have to go in 17,500 miles per hour. Um, so you got to get going pretty darn fast. Uh, coming back down, the speed sort of varies pretty greatly. Right now, the booster is falling back towards us. Uh, I'm not even going to guess at the speed, but they're going to light their engines to slow down. There! There they are! There they are, right there! Oh, two 10-story buildings falling out of the sky! God. So, my camera is pointed almost straight up right now. There one finished the entry burn, and there the other finished the entry burn. So, they were just slowing down enough. We are not going to be able to see them. We'd need an IR camera to see them right now. Uh, but they finished their entry burn successfully. The next thing, dude, there's actually a radio tower that I have to look at over here. And uh, I know that they're going to land just to the left of the radio tower. So that's the next thing that I got to sort of look at. There they are. There they Oh, you can see them right there. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that before. Something happened there. We're just standing by until we can acquire this. I see the moon. So right there. There, there, there. There's the landing burns. Look at that. On the water. Oh. Two simultaneous booster landings back at the LZs at the Cape. Look at that. Those are ten those are ten story buildings returning back home. <laughs> Did you hear the sonic booms? <laughs> uh, so those sonic booms, they, they literally... So I have these lightweight, hi lightweight hiking pants on, right? And the two sonic booms will literally move my pants around. They, they hit you with so much force. Yeah, I mean, blue jeans, probably not, but the, the hiking pants, uh, definitely.